my name is Max and I just want to introduce myself for the study we have on the sanctuary, the investigative judgment in opposition and work as a people right now expecting Jesus to come soon. Um, I'm from Germany and right now I'm also in Germany but I'm actually soon will be back in Malaysia at a mission school where I'm um, studying myself and I have the chance to do some part-time teaching. And yeah, I was converted a few years ago and came to the Three Angels Messengers in the Adventist Church. I, I grew up as a Catholic. I was doing an exchange here in the United States where I had the chance for this. And where God led me to, to, the, to the truth. So when now studying this topic, I really believe that this is a highly important topic which is often not understood in the depth where it needs to be understood. So I want to encourage you to really study carefully, to study it also for yourself and to make a practical application of this and to seek a deeper experience with God, so deep as it needs to be so we can stand in the time we are living in. So I wish you God's blessing while watching. So today we want to look how to establish the year 1844 from the Bible alone. Because especially when you're young people, um, the question you, which you can ask is, have you ever wondered why? Like it's, it's the one thing to grow up in the church and to learn certain things, but have you ever wondered why we believe that? Have you ever wondered why Seventh-day Adventists teach that in 1844 the judgment began? Or from what verses they prove this? Because many other Christians don't really believe that. Um, they either think that the judgment takes place when a person dies or when Jesus comes the second time. So people could ask, are Adventists right in their belief? You can also ask the question, which, which is also interesting, why do they call it an investigative judgment? What needs to be investigated? Or you could ask the question, when there's a gospel, why is there need of a judgment involving our works? Hmm. And then there are many more questions people have asked throughout history. And I think in general, that, that are good questions which deserve good answers. So um, I think it's, it's especially for young people, something really important that you're not just simply take in what your pastor or your parents say, but you also have to know the reasons for your faith yourself and whether you believe the truth. Um, it's not just enough to know what is truth, but also why it's truth. Let us look at this verse here in 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 15. But sanctify the Lord God in your hearts, and be ready always to give an answer to every man that asketh you a reason for the hope that is in you with meekness and fear. Can you see here that the Bible actually calls on us to, to be able to give a reason for the hope or the faith we have? Yeah, you're just believing something, but it's not true. So, so we have to be able to really give a reason to give a defense or some proof for what we believe. In 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 14, where the Bible says, Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needest not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. So as you use, when, when you also see your calling of God and that your life belongs to God, if you really want to be serious about it, you have to study to show yourself approved unto God. Um, and it's not enough just simply to know certain beliefs, but you have to know why you believe them. And he said to me, for 2,300 days, then shall the sanctuary be cleansed. In Daniel 8, verse 14. What would be the starting date for this period? Because when it starts, when it ends? So, yeah, when, when does this period start? It talks about the time period here, and, and yeah, to really to, to use it verse in any sensible way, we have to ask, as you meant, what is the starting date? Or, and also, when does this period end? Because then the sanctuary starts to be cleansed. Yeah. We also kind of have to ask, which thing, sanctuary is uh, meant here? And you could also ask, what is actually the cleansing of the sanctuary? Mm -hmm. 
Um, for otherwise, this verse would be a little bit like cryptic, and and to understand it, you have to really understand what is involved here. So yeah, let's let's go and answer that question. 